Yes, welcome to the class. Uh, in the previous class, we have discussed a cantilever being subjected to point load as well as UDL. So in this class, we'll see one more problem: uh, how to approach with a cantilever being subjected to point load and UDL. For this, uh, it has been given a cantilever beam of length two meter. In this, it is carrying a UDL uh, of intensity 10 kilonewton per meter over a span of 1.5 meter. similarly we have a load over here point load which is acting at a distance of 0.5 meter from the free end the intensity of point load is 10 kN for this what we need to do we need to draw shear force diagram as well as bending moment diagram to calculate shear force and bending moment diagram first we need to understand what is shear force and bending moment as we know that shear force is nothing but summation of vertical forces which are acting on a beam that is nothing but shear force bending moment the, as we know that moment is nothing but force into perpendicular distance so this is nothing but the definition of bending moment now to understand uh, to approach this problem first what we need to do here we make the section wherever there are application of load there we can make a node uh, to determine to draw a bending moment diagram and shear force diagram we should have some portion so we should have some uh, what do we call it? some nodes from where we can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for that what i have done here i have taken uh, the portion a here portion to here we have load so we have taken a portion c here we have one more portion which is dr we can call it as the nodes where here the beam is fixed over here so i have taken a here it is b here it is c here it is d now what we need to do to approach for this problem now we need to calculate shear force at a point d means here we need to calculate shear force to calculate shear force at a point d first we should know that here uh, we have udl here we have udl uniformly distributed load to convert that udl to point load what we need to do we need to know that we have the udl of intensity 10 kN per meter if you multiply with this with the the length this length length will get cancel and you will get the intensity of the point load in terms of kN so to convert udl into point load we need to multiply with the length now now we will calculate shear force at point d to calculate shear force at point d you know that the intensity of load that is 10 kN per meter so it is in udl now we need to convert this udl to point load to convert that what we need to do we need to multiply with the length so since we are calculating the udl uh, so shear force at point d here we don't have any distance so at this point if you want to calculate the distance is zero zero meter so this this get cancel so 10 into 0 is 0 kN which is acting at the which is nothing but shear force at point d similarly to calculate shear force at point c at this point again the forces which are acting to the right of this like again we have here the UDL, UDL, or sorry, UDL, uniformly distributed distributed load. The intensity of load is 10 kN per meter. And to convert this 10 kN per meter into point load, what we need to do? We need to multiply with the the length. So we are calculating shear force at this point means we need to see it is at a distance of 0.5 from the free end. So here we need to multiply 0.5 meter. and apart from this apart from this we have one more load that is nothing but 10 kN plus 10 kN at this point so here this meter meter get cancelled so 10 into 0.5 is 5 kN plus here we have 10 kN this 10 so totally it is 15 kN which is nothing but positive which is acting at point c similarly to calculate to calculate uh, shear force shear force at point b shear force at point b is nothing but the forces which are acting right to this 
so what are the forces which are acting here again the U UDL that is nothing but 10 kilo newton per meter and this UDL has to be converted into point load for that what we need to do we need to multiply with the length so length is nothing but the length of the UDL because we are calculating the shear force at this point uh, the length the distance from the free end it is 1.5 so you need to multiply with 1.5 meter this is the UDL load which is converted into point load now apart from this we have one more load that is 10 kN so plus 10 kN so if you simplify this you will get a 15 kN plus 10 kN which is nothing but 25 kN shear force at point b similarly to calculate shear force at point shear force shear force at point a the forces which are acting right to this so here we have this force as well as this force the same the same answer we will get that is nothing but 10 kN per meter into the length so the length of the udl is 1.5 only the length of the beam this is nothing but your udl loss plus we have this one 10 kN which is acting here so answer will be the 25 kN which is acting here to be so this is how we need to calculate the shear force for the given loading condition for a cantilever beam now we need to draw a shear force diagram for this to draw shear force diagram for this let's see here how to draw now let us consider the same uh, diagram over here this is nothing but your cantilever beam here we have gdl here we have gdl and somewhere here we have we have some point load over here this is the intensity of load and distance from here to here it is 0.5 meter from here to here it is 1 meter from here to here it is 0.5 meter and uh, the intensity of the UDL is 10 kN per meter and the application of point load is 10 kN we have made uh, the section section a here it is b here it is c here it is d okay to draw shear force diagram what we need to do we should have a parallel line we should have a parallel line to the given beam here this is the parallel line for the given beam once you may once you draw the parallel line next thing you may you mark the portions this is nothing but point a this is nothing but point b this is your point c this is your point d once you mark this the next step the next step is we need to uh, draw like since as we know that shear force the shear force values for uh, all the points are in positive in positive so what we need to draw we need to draw the intensity of load the magnitude of the load we need to draw here here at point d uh, if you see here at the point d at the point d we have calculated at point d we have 0 kN so that's what we need to draw here like uh, for 0 kN means here the intensity of the load the shear force is 0 kN over here and at a point to see at a point c we have 15 kN that's what we need to mention here like take a scale and draw 1.5 cm approximately 1.5 cm and we need to show with the a vertical line over here for example this is 1.5 cm which gives a measure of 15 15 kN 
similarly at a point b at a point b we have 25 kN at point b we have 25 kN again circle line a vertical line which shows an intensity of 25 kN means 2.5 cm you can write you can draw 25 kN similarly at the point a at the point a again we have 25 kN so that's what we need to draw here again a vertical line we, we are drawing vertical line upwards because the shear forces are positive in the upward direction means if you take the reference line this the upward forces are positive downward forces are negative in the sense shear forces are positive value so we are drawing above this reference line once we draw this the next thing is to to join this line whenever uh, we are dealing with the udl make sure that in the shear force diagram in the shear force diagram in the shear force diagram if there is a udl if there is a udl what we need to do the line joining should be in the inclined one this should be a inclined line this should be the inclined line See? from here to here we have udl so it should be a inclined line from here to here it is an inclined line and from here to here from here to here it should be an inclined line wherever there is a point load for example here we don't have any load so this should be your a parallel line this should be your parallel line this is how this is how the shear force and bending moment diagram should look like this is how the shear force and bending moment diagram should look like i hope now you understood the concept over here clear okay fine the next step we need to draw bending moment bending moment diagram for this to so calculate bending moment uh, let us see here the same problem uh, the same cantilever beam of intensity of flow that we have here, here here we have point load and it is at a distance of okay. This is 0.5 meter. This is one meter. This is 0.5 meter. The intensity of load is 10 kilonewton per meter, and here it is 10 kilonewton. And it is this here. This is section A. This is B. This is C. This is D. Once we do this, next thing is we need to calculate the bending moment. Now we need to calculate bending moment at a point D. At a point D, we have bending moment. Like uh, as we know that bending moment is nothing but the force into perpendicular distance. The force into the distance is nothing but bending moment. Since it is acting in the downward bending moment, usually we take it in the negative sign here. So, at this portion, at this point, what is the bending moment? At this point, what is the bending moment? We need to calculate. First, since uh, at this point we have this UDL. Since we have UDL, what we need to do? That UDL into uh, we need to convert into point load. This minus sign here. First, the force the force is nothing but 10 kilo newton per meter. This is the UDL. This UDL we need to convert into point load. To do this, what we need to do? We need to multiply with the distance. So at this point, you are we are calculating the bending moment. So we don't have any distance from uh, right to this. So the distance is zero meter over this. So this is how we have calculated UDL into point load. This is nothing but your force. This is nothing but your force. What about the distance? Distance is zero since we are calculating here. So answer will be the zero. Bending moment at a point D is zero. Similarly, 
the unit is kilo newton meter this should be known similarly bending moment at a point c to calculate bending moment at point c what we need to do again since it is subjected to udl over here and we have point load here so first thing is we need to convert that udl to convert that udl what we need to do we need to write like uh, 10 kilo newton per meter is the intensity of load we should multiply with the distance at the, at point c if you are calculating to write out this we have the distance is 0.5 meter if you do so we have converted the point load into uh, sorry udl into point load now we need to multiply with the distance what is the distance over here 0.5 right but uh, once we convert this udl into point load the point load which is acting at the center of this which is acting center of this this is acting exactly in between the exactly center of 0.5 that is nothing but 0.5 by 2 i hope so it is understood clear here yeah. if you simplify you will get this meter meter get cancelled so it will be 5 kilo newton uh this is in terms of meter right into we have if you simplify this you will get uh, this should be minus so apart from this we have one more load here that is minus 10 kilo newton into it is acting at this point itself means it is zero so if you simplify these things you will get answer as uh, minus 1.25 kilo newton meter okay next let me erase this here again now we will calculate bending moment at point b bending moment at a point b to calculate bending moment at point b we should know what are the forces which are acting right to this and we need to multiply with the distance that is nothing but force into distance negative that is nothing but bending moment right at the at point b if you want to calculate bending moment first we need to see what are the forces that is nothing but we have a udl intensity of 10 kN 10 kN per meter is the udl here we are calculating the bending moment so the length from the free end is 1 plus 0.5 which is nothing but 1.5 meter this is nothing but your force means udl has been converted udl has been converted into the point load now where this point load is acting it acts exactly in between this exactly at the center center means if it is 1.5 it should act at at a distance of 0.75 so that's what i can write here uh, that is nothing but 1.5 divided by 2 this is the force this is the distance clear apart from this since it is bending moment it is negative next apart from this we have one more load 10 km which is acting at a distance of 1 meter from b so it is nothing but minus 10 into 10 is the force that is point load into distance is 1 meter so if you simplify this you will get minus 21.25 kilo newton meter i hope so it is clear now now here we will find here we will uh, find okay bending moment at a point a to calculate bending moment at a point a what we need to do again here we have force that is nothing but what are the forces which are acting to the right side first we will what we will do we will take this one we have 10 km from here to here what is the length from here to here it is acting here right 10 km from here to here it is 1.5 so this is the force 10 km into the distance is 1.5 force into distance next apart from this one more load one more load which is nothing but the udl 
UDL of intensity minus UDL intensity 10 kN per meter we have first we need to convert this UDL into point load for that the length of the UDL is 1.5 1.5 meter now it is force the entire term is force now we need to multiply with the distance since we are calculating at this portion what is the length so first we will make sure that the UDL is acting at the center of this center means it is acting at a distance of 1.5 so 1 meter plus 0.5 1.5 in the middle of this so i can write that 1.5 divided by 2 it is acting at this center from here to here what is the distance here it is 7.75 here we have 0.5 so if you divide by 1.5 divided by 2 is 7.5 0.75 0.5 0.5 you will get the answer so this answer will be Minus thirty-three point seven zero newton meter. So this is how we need to calculate the shear force and bending moment for the given beam. So if you have doubt over here, I will explain here. Also one, I uh, hope so. You have doubt here. I think so. You may get the doubt over here. At this portion, you may get a doubt. So 10 kilonewton. Here it is 10 kilonewton per meter. At A, B, C, D. Now the length is this is 0.5 meter. This is 1 meter. Here it is 0.5 meter. You may get the doubt at A. So to calculate bending moment at A, bending moment at this point, what we need to do? We need to consider the forces which are acting right of this. First, we will take any force. You may take this force or this force. What we will take this force now? We have UDL of intensity 10 kilonewton per meter. Since it is bending moment, it should be negative. Okay. 10 kilonewton per meter is the UDL. First thing is we need to convert UDL into point load. To convert UDL into point load, 10 kilonewton per meter into we need to multiply with the length. So length of the UDL. What is the length of the UDL? It is nothing but 1.5. 1.5. If you do so, if you do so, it is easy to calculate. So if you do so, this is uh, this is nothing but your force. The point uh, UDL has been Converted into point load. Now, where this this point load after conversion of UDL into point load, where this point load is acting, where this point load is acting, this point load is acting exactly center of this center of this means it is 1.5. It is 1.5 meter length means it is acting at the meter means it is at a distance of it is at a distance from if it is B if it is C. To get a distance 0.75 meter. Since we are calculating the bending moment at this point, so the length from here to here, from here to here, this is point A. From here to here, this is one meter. Total, it is 1.75. This is 1.75. This is nothing but your distance. This is four. This is distance. This is your distance. Now, apart from this, we have one more force that is 10 kilonewton. That is minus 10 kilonewton into the distance from here to here. From C to uh, A, it is 1.5. 1.5. So, if you simplify this, you will get minus 33.75 kilonewton meter. This is how we need to calculate. So, once we do this, we need to approach to the shear force diagram. Let's draw shear force diagram over here. Again, the same cantilever beam. Right? The cantilever beam subjected to UDL over here. The intensity of load is 10 kilonewton per meter. And here we have 
here we have point load of how much 10 kilo newton and it is fixed here and distance from here to here it is 0 0.5 meters from here to here it is 1 meter from here to here it is 0.5 meter Okay, to draw a uh, bending moment diagram, make sure that the values of bending moment diagrams are all in negative, all in negative. So this is the uh, this is B, this is C, this is D. Okay. The values of bending moments are in negative, in negative. So what we need to do? We need to draw a uh, reference line. Reference line. Here we'll take a reference line. Okay. Here we will take the reference line. Once we take the reference line over here, the next step is to draw the magnitudes of each one. So next uh, you find them, you, you, you mark here. This is point A. This is your point B. This is point C. This is point B. The intensity of load at each point is in the mark. Now, at a point D, at the point D we have zero kilometer. At a point C, at a point C we have minus minus how much? One point two five minus one point two five. Uh, I will draw with this. At a point C we have one point two five. Again, at a point B, at a point B we have the intensity of load minus 21 minus 21 means why we are drawing downwards means here these are all the values of bending moment are in the negative one so here at the point a we have minus 33 from here we draw minus 33. once we draw this next step here next step is we need to join this so join this Make sure that whenever we are drawing bending moment or diagram, if there is a UDL, if there is a UDL, the bending moment diagram, in the bending moment diagram, this UDL will be in the parabolic shape. Parabolic shape. That is nothing but you can see. From B to D, we have the UDL. So, here it comes like a parabolic shape. It comes like a parabolic shape. Like this. Similarly here it comes like a parabolic shape. But here we don't have any uh, the UDL. So it comes in an inclined line. It comes in an inclined line. So this is nothing much. Here you need to mention all the here you need to mention all the, uh, the slot. Here it is 1.25 here it is kilometer meter here 21.25 kilometer meter here it is 33.33.75 kilometer meter there is no need to write a negative sign over here because it is downward see downward this portion this entire portion shows the bending moment of diagram. I hope so it is clear. If you have any doubt, or you can contact me. Okay, fine. Uh, like uh, in the next class, in coming classes, we'll do one thing. We'll see when a cantilever being subjected to uniformly varying load. Uniformly varying load. We'll see in the coming classes. Okay, shall we end the class now? Okay.